Jay is eagerly awaiting the first visitor, Howard Bird from Broxburn in Hertfordshire. Hi, Jay. How are you doing, Howard? You all right? Fine, yes, thank you. Come on in. He's hoping art conservator Lucia Scalisi could revive a regal portrait that's looking less than majestic. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Lucia. Hi. Hi. Good, tell us about this painting. It looks amazing. It's uh, a portrait of Queen Henrietta. Right. Who is the queen of Charles I. And she's in mourning after her husband had had his head chopped off. Well, so this is an important painting then. Yeah, this is 1600s. What, that's when it was painted? Yeah. Charles I was given the chop in 1649, so it's after 1649. It's impressive, Lucia, isn't it? It's amazing. I've never seen a portrait of her specifically as a widow. Yeah, yeah so you've got this... Uh, that beautiful, brooch, yeah, uh, of Charles I. And the band here with the ring. With the so. ring, which is a signifier of widowhood. It's quite unusual, but it's really quite lovely. Now, I've known this painting for over 40 years. It, Belong to a good friend of mine. Right. And uh, on his passing, he wanted me to have it. What was his name? He's Eric. Eric. So where did Eric get it from? Do you know? He purchased it from a, an art dealer friend of his in the 60s. So did Eric collect more artwork? or was Yeah, this the, lots know? of artefacts, you know, Japanese urns and burial things and other paintings. But this was his favourite. Where did you and Eric meet? I moved next door to Eric in 1980. Right. And I was in the garden, and his wife, Ruby, put her head over the fence, and she went, oh, hello, who are you? Yeah. So I said, I'm your new neighbour. Went in and met Eric. Yeah. He was disabled. He, he'd caught polio when he was six years old. Mm. So he had lost the use of his legs. But he didn't lose his sense of humour with his practical jokes and everything else. Sounds like a right character. He was. Yeah. He was. Very good. Uh, we just became very close friends very quickly. It was, you know, breakfast every day with them, and they'd always have a meal waiting for me when I came home in the evening. I said, more time in their home than they did next door on my own. <laughs> that's quite amazing. That's, yeah. that's more than neighbours and more than friends. We just became like a, like a family. I was a single guy, and they just took me under their wing. I think they probably always wanted to have a, a, a son, and that's why, you know, we just became very close. Yeah. It sounds perfect. That was it, and that lasted 40-odd years, or 40 years with Eric and probably 20 years with Ruby because she passed earlier. So when did Eric pass away? 2016. OK. Yeah. The last couple of years of his life, you know, I was his main carer. We used to have long chats and Henrietta. She always used to come up and Eric started to say that, you know, he'd always liked to have it cleaned and never really got round to it. He died at 84. Okay. When was 84. Right. Mm. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I cared for it right to the end, so. Yeah. And I just, just loved him. Yeah. You could tell that. You see that you miss them both as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very much. Yeah. I'm just hoping that if he's looking down and he sees the, Lucia's work on it, then uh, he'll be happy. Yeah. Howard, thank you for bringing this in. Thank you. Yeah? And thank you, Lucia. My pleasure. You take bye. care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. When I look at the painting, I just think of my 40 years with Eric as a friend and kind of like a father figure. I just loved him to bits and his wife. You know, just, just loved him. I think Eric would be very proud of me to take on his wishes and finally get Henrietta back to the beautiful woman that she is.